Uh, firstly, uh, I too want to uh, thank Victorians for the amazing work that they, they have all been doing. Uh, it's great to see the numbers, the case numbers, continuing to decline, uh, both today and in recent days. Uh, it's important that we continue uh, at, this, at this effort uh, to support each other at this challenging time uh, so we can continue to bring hospitalisation numbers down as well. Uh, and also uh, to see uh, fewer tragedies playing out. I want to express my uh, sympathy and condolences to those families who've lost a loved one uh, in recent days. Um, it's important that whilst we remain vigilant against coronavirus, that we don't neglect our other health needs. Uh, my health services are reporting uh, that there are declining and concerning uh, attendances at our emergency departments, and this does suggest that people are putting off um, seeking uh, urgent and important medical care uh, that could make that critical difference to their life. Our emergency departments, for example, are reporting significant declines in, um, in presentations at a time of the year where typically uh, they are at their busiest. Um, the month of August is typically a very, very busy uh, month for our emergency departments. They're usually in the peak of the flu season. Our flu numbers, uh, thankfully, are significantly down this year compared to the last three years. They're down about 80% compared to the last uh, three years average. Uh, but uh, it's clear that uh, people are deferring important medical care for very serious conditions. So, for example, um, presentations to our EDs for uh, heart attacks are down 18 per cent compared to this time last year. Uh, for strokes, they're down 24 per cent compared to this time uh, last year. And also, people are deferring important cancer screening, which has meant that we are seeing about a 30 per cent reduction uh, in reports for the five most common cancers, colorectal, prostate, breast melanoma and lung cancer. So this is very concerning uh, because uh, deferred care can uh, lead to worse health outcomes. It can lead to much longer hospitalisation stays. It can lead to tragedy. Uh, so uh, we are urging Victorians today uh, to continue to uh, visit their GP, uh, to take their regular medication, and if they have any lumps or bumps or symptoms that they are concerned about, to please do not defer seeking uh, medical care. Uh, that may well mean uh, turning up to an emergency department or calling triple zero uh, if you have uh, symptoms of concern. Uh, it is important that you continue to seek that medical care. It may, in fact, save your life. Uh, so we have had uh, other um, opportunities for people to seek uh, important care. I want to stress that our hospitals are safe for people to attend. Uh, we have had a significant decline uh, with a great deal of effort from health services in healthcare worker infections in, uh, in recent weeks. Uh, and we have actually now uh, only uh, 227, I believe, was the most recent number of healthcare workers being furloughed in our health services. Um, so there has been continued efforts to address uh, these issues, uh, but our hospitals are safe for people to present to. Uh, they are utilising telehealth uh, technology. We've had a very significant um, increase in the use of telehealth. So uh, compared to 4% uh, of specialist clinic appointments uh, in the 2018-19 year that we're using uh, telehealth services, uh, approximately 46 per cent of those appointments have been conducted through telehealth now. Uh, all of our health services have embraced this technology. So at the Royal Children's Hospital, for example, uh, they uh, have been uh, utilising about 70 per cent of their clinical consultations uh, via telehealth. So people are able to access those important appointments uh, through uh, through using the, uh, that technology and doing it in the comfort and safety of their own home. Uh, compared to uh, the start of the year, about 2,000 uh, conference calls or video calls through telehealth were being utilised by health services. In the month of August, uh, this was up to 60,000 such appointments. Uh, so whether it's um, uh, speaking to your GP, uh, and that also uh, can occur through uh, telehealth, telehealth technology, uh, or speaking to um, our dedicated healthcare workers in our hospitals through telehealth or presenting to an emergency department, I would urge Victorians not to defer uh, important medical care. It's important that we remain vigilant against uh, the coronavirus, but it's also important that 
we similarly remain vigilant to all of our health care needs. Please uh, keep taking your medication, uh, speaking to your GP and other medical uh, specialists, and please do not put off attending um, one of our emergency departments if there is anything that you are concerned about.